Something I really struggle with is trying to figure out if I should use a component library or not. And then I need to choose which component library to use. And then I get conflicting advice from people out there that say I shouldn't use any component library and that I should do everything just with plain CSS or maybe just Tailwind. So today I'm gonna explain my rubric of how I decide I should use a component library like Beautify or Amplify UI or Material UI, what some of the benefits of using a component library are and why you may not wanna use a component library because maybe just using CSS and writing all the logic yourself makes more sense. So I have some experience in this. I used to work at a startup at my last job and we had to create a pretty complicated questionnaire with multiple pages. It had several dropdowns, several inputs, even had multiple date pickers. And we had a really short deadline to create this whole questionnaire and get it complete. So we went back and forth on creating it all ourselves or using a component framework and we decided to use a component framework. It actually went really well. The component framework reduced the time it took to get the application out the door and it actually looked really nice. So there were some disadvantages that I'll talk about in a moment, but overall it was the right choice for us and the product that we were trying to create. So let me demonstrate some pros I think for component libraries. So first, I think it's most obvious speed. So if you are using a component library, you can get up and running so much quicker than if you had to do the, all the logic and everything yourself, including this CSS. Your customers don't care how you made the menu dropdown, calendar widget, or any of these things. They don't care if it was made in Material UI or if you did it all yourself just over the weekend. What they care about most, does it work? Does it look good? Does, is it functional? And a lot of component libraries will give you that out of the box. The next point I wanna make is built-in accessibility. These component frameworks have experts in the field. They do audits of their component frameworks. So they make sure that it has all the best guidelines and standards for WCAG for accessibility so that anybody that's using your website and you're using some of these components know that it's gonna work well with screen readers. It's gonna be more accessible. And I think that's extremely important. And I'm not an accessibility expert, but I know that I work with accessibility experts that make sure that when we put out components, that it follows the best guidelines for that. And to go along with that, you know that component libraries are following kind of best practices out there. Uh, so you know that they're going to be handling all your semantic HTML correctly. They might be using like design tokens or have a design system or a robust theming system. I think a good point too is that it's gonna have like a standard and there's gonna be a standard way to do things. So once you buy into one of these component libraries, it's gonna have the same patterns throughout all the different components that it gives you. And it's also going to follow a lot of times like larger standards, like Material UI has a material standard that it follows. And once you understand how that, that standard works, it gets becomes really easy to go in and to change and update and to use these components throughout your app. The last thing I wanna talk about is connected components. So connected components are kind of a term that we use here at AWS with our Amplify libraries. We actually have connected components that talk to our backend system that do complicated things like authentication, like identity management, like federation, like taking care of your users. So I think that's an important distinction is that you can have connected components, which we'll talk about in a moment, that encapsulate some really complicated logic that you don't have to write yourself. Now, as for some cons, there's definitely some. So one is that if you're not familiar with the components and this framework, this component framework, you're gonna have to look up the documentation a lot and that will slow you down at the beginning, especially if you're going going beyond the happy path. In other words, if you're just taking like a, a menu button or a calendar widget, if you take those things out of the box, they'll probably work fine. They're probably easy. I would argue that a hallmark of a good component library is that it just works and that the defaults make a lot of sense and you don't need to do a lot of customization. So to emphasize that, definitely customization can be a con if you're looking to go way beyond out of the box of what this component framework or library offers you. If you are completely customizing it to the point where it doesn't even look like anything out of what you see in the documentation, you're probably gonna have some problems at that point. You may want to just completely abandon the framework or maybe use it for only a few specific items, create the component completely to your specifications. So let me show you a little bit of a Venn diagram of how I think about different frameworks. So I think Tailwind is probably one of the most popular. And when I think of Tailwind, it's basically utility classes. 
uh, utility classes are great if you want to completely customize your app exactly how you want, but it's lacking a lot of things compared to, com to Amplify UI as one of our examples of a component framework. Like you get components out of here. You also get a theming system. Uh, you also get the logic. While Tailwind, you get utility classes. You can do some customization. You get a little bit of theming, but it's not exactly the same. You don't get any of the, the logic. You don't get fully realized components. There is things like Tailwind UI, which kind of combine a little bit of both of these where you get the same underlying utility class system, but they are compro comprised into components. Some have logic with a headless system, like a headless UI. Uh, some don't have logic. So it's I don't really fear, think it's fair to compare like Amplify UI directly to Tailwind because they're so, like this is not the same uh, as, as Tailwind if you're trying to compare it because it's, it's completely different. You have these components, theming and logic while in Tailwind you have these kind of smaller classes. Now I've been talking about Amplify UI. So what is Amplify UI? So I'm a developer advocate for Amplify. So I, I can talk a little about it. It's an open source UI library that brings the simplicity and extensibility of AWS Amplify to UI development. It consists of connected components that simplify complex workflows like authentication. You can see here, if I go in here and look at our connected components, there's authentication, which encapsulates our author authorization and authentication. We have account settings to change uh, your logged in user information. We have geo, which adds like mapping, kind of like Google Maps. We have storage, like a file uploader component makes it easy to upload files to S3. And then we have a whole component library. So we have like icons, scroll views, images, alerts. So you can add a alert box and you can have different variations to make it different colors. I think one of the really important things is using connected components. So connected components are a way to encapsulate some complicated logic into one place. So a couple of things that I keep in mind when looking at connected components, some advantages of them are it like encapsulates complex logic rather than having to write all the code to do your fetches to the back end, to use the official AWS or Amplify libraries. You can now get this all done by just popping in one of these components has the look and feel has the best practices in place. It also uh, has best practices. So you get the best accessibility, but also how you're supposed to talk to and use these libraries are all built in. So you don't have to worry about, am I using this library the right way or not? Is this the best practice? Am I catching the errors correctly? That's all taken care of for you. Uh, I think an important thing is it talks to the back end. So whatever back end service that you have, this does this for you. So it's not just like a, a view layer, it's more in depth. One thing we try to make all our connected components is they're customizable. If we go to our connected component and take a look at our account settings and our change, pass our change password, we can do complete component overrides. So we can completely change the look and feel of the change password, the labels, and we can construct this component exactly as you, as, as you like it. So that's really important with connected components. Let's talk about Vutify. So Vutify is a really popular Vue.js framework and I think it has some of the same advantages I've talked about before. Why would you want to use uh, Vutify? Collection of UI components to make a consistent style. So you have the kind of the consistent look and feel. You have uh, several different components that you can use. It's free. It's flexible. It uses the material design specifications. So these standards that many different frameworks, component frameworks use, it, it's, it adheres to that standard, which means that if you have new developers coming onto a project, you don't necessarily have to teach them everything to do with this new framework. If they've used material design frameworks in the past, they're probably going to be easily able to use something like Vutify and jump into it, customize it, and make exactly that they want inside their application. It also has really great tooling and a great community and even offers like enterprise support. While in Quasars, Quasar is another popular Vue.js component framework. It even offers some things that you usually don't see in component frameworks. Like it has support for mobile browsers. It even has, you can do native applications in using Quasar. It also is tree shakeable. It's super fast, has a whole CSS customization system. Many of these frameworks do. It's uh, it has incredible community, regular release cycle, and it has a lot of different components as well. So that might be a reason why you want to use these frameworks. I think there is some very important advantages of using component frameworks over just using uh, normal CSS and JavaScript yourself. 
You can see here, you get some of the best practices. You can save on speed. And with connected components, you can even do some really complicated logic and you can just pop it into your app. You can customize it completely over my components, but really, they're tools like anything else. And there, there are some really good situations that you should use them. And I would highly recommend you check out Amplify UI. I'm a developer advocate for it. Leave a comment below if you have any questions. Thanks.